Hey everybody, 6th graders, I'm at the tail end of my day here on Wednesday and we're going to figure out how waves form. Um, I hope this helps you guys. This new thing I got called Prezi, which is um, how I made this presentation. So, how do waves form? Um, waves form from the wind, actually, from the wind that actually blows over the surface of the waves, of the surface, and it changes the air pressure, and bam, you get a wave. And here is, um, and we'll go into more detail in class, but here's a wave, and it has a lot of energy, right? Remember, everything that moves has to have energy. And uh, you can actually have waves in little ponds and lakes as well. Um, here's a little surfer. This is the Mavericks of Santa Cruz. So, we're actually going to talk about erosion by waves, kind of in the same way we talk about erosion by streams. <clears throat> so, here we go. So, what? how do the waves how do waves erode our coastline, particularly in California? Um, well, one way that waves erode our coastline is with impact. Okay, That means that large waves hit rocks on the shore really hard and break them into tiny pieces. Um, and over time, waves can make little cracks in the rocks, and those cracks can eventually erode and fall into the ocean or fall onto the ground. Um, Another way that waves can erode our coastline is by abrasion. Um, and in case you don't remember, abrasion is the wearing down of rock by grinding. So the water washes over all these rocks, and it has tiny pieces of sediment in them. And it actually, those tiny pieces of sediment end up eroding the rocks, but by actually smoothing them out. Rocks that are really smooth, um, when you see them on the coast, are actually smooth because there's tiny pieces of sediment and salt that are grinding slowly and smoothing out those rocks. Um, or maybe you've seen beach glass. Beach glass is kind of like that too. Alright, what types of landforms do waves create by erosion? Okay, first one is a sea stack. Um, well, sea stacks are left when there was a there was a part of a landmass or a headland that was poking out into the ocean, but then all the rest of the little pieces all eroded away into the ocean. What was left standing are sea stacks. Um, these are actually out on Ocean Beach. You may have seen them. Sometimes the seals hang out on the sea stacks. You might have thought they were like little islands, but they actually were connected to the coast. Another way um, that erosion can shape our coastlines is by headlands. And this is something we'll talk about tomorrow, but the way that headlands work is that waves come on both sides of this, and they're just beating on the rock, and they're slowly eroding away the sides. So this little side eroded away, then that little side eroded away, and eventually this entire thing will go into the ocean. Um, there's a Jimi Hendrix song that has that in it, actually. Um, here's another headland down here. Um, this is another headland. This is in Marin. That one was Point Reyes, actually. They also create wave cut cliffs. Wave cut cliffs are really cool, but basically if you think if a wave keeps knocking at the bottom of this hill here over the really long time, it's kind of like chopping down a tree, right? It hits against the bottom of the cliff a bunch, and eventually it hits against the bottom so many times that the whole top part falls into the ocean. Probably via some kind of mass movement. Ooh, interesting. Maybe a slump. <clears throat> All right. And the final type of landform created by wave erosion are sea arches. Uh, sea arches are formed when actually waves pound on the outside of the hard rock and the rock in the middle actually gets soft. Um, that's the soft rock in the middle and eventually that soft rock in the middle eventually erodes and then bam you get this hard rock that's keeping this thing up and all the soft rock is all gone there. Um, these are all over the place in Santa Cruz, and I've actually been in a couple of these. I think I've even climbed a sea stack. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. That's exit music.